guys, Clayton here again. So today, going on a bit of an adventure, just around town. Uh, my fishing rod that I got from one of the fishing shops in Bundaberg got posted to my old address rather than my new address, even though they had my new address. So I'm going to go and try and see if I can get that fishing rod today, get some more GoPro accessories, and I'll see where I go from there. I'll probably head out to Headlow for a fish for some barra and give my fishing room a bit of a touch up. So, we got the rod tube, that's all ready to go, it's in the car, so I'll unbox it when I get home and show you the rod that I've got and the other couple of bits and pieces that I've got while I clean the fishing room and at the moment I'm about to head to JB Hi-Fi then probably out for breakfast. fishing room so I'll show you what I've got recently so from Kmart they were clearing out a lot of their sinkers so I've got a heap of big snapper lids for a dollar each when I was there the other day they were clearing out a lot of their metal picks for a dollar each so I've got a heap of them and the horizontal rod racks for $3 each and that's a pack of two so I bought them from JB Hi-Fi I've got these two GoPole seam time lapses so your GoPro sits on top you twist it and it pans around while it's doing a time lapse. So that'll be really, really good, really handy. Now I'm going to start sticking all of this away. Thank you. 
out. So that's as clean as this room is probably going to get for a while. Pretty lazy. I am going to make another shelf and set it up there just to put more things on because I'm buying too many things. Let me run you through what I've got recently. So the purchase that I'm going to be using the most is this 3000 FI Stella. It's got the original handle, but the handle on at the moment is a sustain handle. Just because that power knob's going to be good on a little micro jigging rod rather than the T grip. Second reel is my 14,000 Stella SWB. Now it's got some 50 pound Sunline Super 5 on it. And the last rod, no, last reel. Well, second to last reel, 8000 SWV, and that's going to be running some 40 pound on it. I do also have a 4000 SWV Stella, which I got recently too, but I'm not going to pull it out of the rod rack. So on this one, I went to Bluefin Sports, purchased a Gary Howard Ocean Jeweler, 30 to 40 pound. Now it's a nice, different, different sort of. Right, it's not a jigging rod, it's not short enough to be a jigging rod, it's not long enough to be a casting rod, but it's it's the length that I like. It's a six foot rod and it's gonna be great for dropping down jigs and bait and whatever else you want. So that's what that's matched up with. I didn't really want to go with something generic like a T curve or something like that. Everyone buys T curves and Terezas and all these other rods. They're good rods, I wanted something different, so I opted for the Gary Howard. The next rod came in that tube, which I got this morning. Oops. So I was down at the secret spot in your phone, and they had one of these, but they had a heavier version. Um, I got the lighter version. It is a Gary Howard Offshore Extreme, I believe an SP50 or SP60. And that is what the 14,000 is going on. So it has an helps triangular alloy reel seat, full grip down to an alloy gimbal. It's just a really nice, nice rod to match onto that Stella. So I'll go for a quick lap around. So this is the first cupboard. Up there I've got a tray for my hooks like my treble hooks and my assist making gear, some camping repair stuff and over there is some more lure making stuff like some balsa and you know, shaping tools and whatnot. I've just got a pile of camping and outdoor things in here. Old monitor there. All my rod socks, my rod sleeves hang off hangers in there and my fly rods hang up in here too so there's a rod on it some of them hang up in there got my spear guns camera bag gopro accessories camera accessories more gopro accessories more trays of lures and flies that you can pack a stick at most of those flies are made so that's okay heaps more lures unused line unused lures So we've got real case, empty trays, computer stuff, hooks, more hook making stuff. And these are all my boxes for the reels I own. Too many Stella boxes in there, that's okay. Camera, over to the computers, or computer. So we've got my tower, two monitors, 
that's my setup there. This is where I'll be putting this is where I'll be putting a second cabinet which I'll paint white, put it back on it so the sun doesn't damage its contents in it. That's my fly tying kit, all that has fly tying stuff in it. These are all my rods and reels. More reels in there. More reels in the cupboard there in the boxes. Generally the stuff at the top hasn't been used. It's still in the boxes. And more lures and stuff like that. So thanks for tuning in. I'll edit the video and probably go for a fish the side. So I'll see you guys then.